which is Congaree National Park. And it is my first camping trip of this year and also my first camping trip on the East Coast. It's taking me about seven and a half hours to get there, but I would say that the weather is very fitting for this journey. I still have a few hours to go and I won't get there until it's dark. So I won't be filming the campground area until tomorrow, but I'm actually on my way to Walmart right now. I decided to get out of the city before I go pick up some food. This is what we're dealing with. Parking lot. Geico. Okay. This is weird. Is my dreamy area. So we have a bit of a dilemma. This campground has a parking lot and then you walk to the tent sites and my site is approximately three quarters of a mile away and it is midnight so sure what to do. I'm contemplating sleeping in my car. They do have a vault toilet that's right there, which is nice. I did bring my toilet and a, my new um, privy shelter, except it's not called that. But I just don't know if I want to walk at midnight three quarters of a mile. morning. So I slept in my car last night. I 
I was not about to walk one and a half miles only to probably end up back in my car. So we're gonna make the trek this morning, see how it goes. This is my new poop shelter. This is my new pooper. So let's go. Is this my site? I think this is my site. Well, that's not three quarters of a mile. There's a parking lot. But I am really glad I have my snazzy rigid box to hike down that trail because that makes it super easy and everybody I'm walking by is so jealous I know what they are okay there's a lot of roots yeah there's no way I would have set up here last night You know what? I don't think I'm even gonna set up my my pooper. I'll just walk. I don't even want to mess with the mess. <laughs> I'm all set up. Got my water also on wheels. My chair. And I'm gonna sleep in the tent tonight just because. It's a weird parking lot set up. So we'll see how that goes. I did buy um, a tent lamp, oddly enough, because I'm gonna try out a suggestion that um, one of my subscribers commented about on my tent review video. So we're gonna try that out.
what what kind of distance are you looking at or time wise? Any distance. I mean, obviously not. I don't want to hike in the dark, but yeah, Weston Lake Loop is a good one. It's 4.4 miles from here, going out and around. Okay. So you're looking at about two and a half hours for most folks. Mm -hmm. There are other trails, but we do have some standing water that might prevent you from getting too far on some of them. So I would I would recommend the Weston Lake Loop. So you just take the boardwalk, keep going straight. It turns into trail number three, which is the Weston Lake Loop. You'll see markers like that with the three on it. And then they'll wind you all the way back around to the boardwalk on the side. So part of the time you'll be on boardwalk, part of the time you'll be out on the trail. This section here might maybe a little muddy, so just be aware of that. But that's a good, that's a good okay. hike around. Perfect. 35 million acres lost. Congaree National Park is the remnants of old growth floodplain forest in the United States. So I wanted to see what this term old growth means since they use it a lot and I have not seen where it is there's an obvious description of it it is a um, never harvested or cleared mature forest Oregon wild has a good description it means old growth means a forest that has not undergone any major unnatural changes such as logging for more than 100 to 150 years, contains young, mature, and standing dead trees, and provides a home for a diversity of wildlife. They're really old woods. So we're going to go check out these really old woods.
this is what is for dessert. I have been uh, craving some circus peanuts and have not been able to find any until yesterday. So we're going to try these out over my sorry little campfire. Well, that's a cool texture if it would work. It's like car caramelized sugar. What's for dinner? Some Rotel, courtesy of Melanie. The idea came from her. I don't know if this is the right kind. And some tortilla chips. We were gonna have some egg noodles and tuna, but my fire doesn't want to cooperate and I don't want to mess with it. So we going to do this and I may mix in some cheese if I can find it from my pretzel when I stopped off at Wawa. We got to open this can up. So it's the same one that Melanie had me try. <clears throat> but we're going to have some Tostitos dip with it. Why not? These chips are real flimsy. Well, it's real appetizing. Man, these. Okay. These break very easily. Camping nachos. Not bad. Does it look appetizing? It'd be good with some ground beef or something. They probably have I think they have ground beef in a pack, I don't know. Seems like I've seen that before at the grocery store. Mmm! Processed food! I'm thinking about heading to Shenandoah and spending a night there. Because there's just not much more to do here in Congaree. And I would like to go to Great... Smoky Mountains, but the weather there is pretty crummy and it's rainy. 
so that'll have to wait for another time. But I'm thinking about going to Shenandoah for my last night tomorrow. I've been to Shenandoah before. I've hiked, hiked Old Rag. It was miserable because it was humid. I don't like hiking in the humidity. But I'll just go there and check it out. So I'm going to finish my camping nachos. Looks like a mess. And then maybe read a book that I've had. For over a year. I buy books but I never read them. And this is something that I need to learn what to do. What to say, how to say it, and when to say nothing at all. That would be good for me. If any of you know me, you would probably agree. So, I will see you in the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> packed up and ready to go. I was going to do um, a canoe trip, but decided not to because the swamp is the swamp. And during my hike, there were some beautiful areas, but I'm just not really feeling the uh, canoe trip. So I did look into going to another national park on my way back. But the weather is really crummy in Shenandoah and then also the, um, I can't think of it, Great Smoky Mountains National Park. So I'm just going to take my time heading back. That is the end of this camping trip. Uh, this video will probably be a lot shorter than usual. Some people will probably like that, but uh, I think I... I'm going to make it a goal to go to every national park in the United States. So that should be a fun time. Last year I went to a total of eight. And then this is my first for this year. I have been to Shenandoah already, but I'm just going to go there to make a video out, out of it and then maybe hike Old Rag again, but do it before it gets really humid. And then... Um, just figure out how to hit up the other national parks. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I really appreciate all my new subscribers and thank you for watching.